Okay, I have been avoiding making this video for like three days now. I was supposed to make a um, how to take a shower on Monday, but instead I did a Lamy book review and then the next day I got mail. And so today I was going to do a um, ink review of Robert Oster, Fire and Ice. But instead, I'm finding myself doing lots and lots and lots of pointless calligraphy. What? So, maybe I'd like to do some mindful calligraphy. If you would like your name written in calligraphy-ish, let me know in the comment section below. And I will do my best to make it happen. Probably won't be very good. Sorry. I've only been at this for like a month now. I've had this dip pen set for over a year now, I think. And I really wasn't into it because I didn't have really good ink. And um, then I got the Zebra G nib and I put it in my Gen Hao X450 and I love it. Now it is one of the only pens that I use, besides my broad-sided um, foundry pen, Chin Hao 992 with a 1.5mm stub. And um, when I come home from work, I get really bored. Because I'm not speaking to my husband right now because he's a poop. So sometimes you need to take a break from your husband and just do you for a little while because urge to kill rising so if you would like to have your name written let me know that's all for right now so thank you all for watching maybe I will still do a how to shower <clears throat> okay well I'll break it down real fast okay so you need three things to start your shower you need soap shampoo and or conditioner but if you don't have hair you obviously don't need shampoo and conditioner but you need some sort of lotion or something before you even start your shower you gotta have those things now you can add other things I have a toothbrush my toothpaste um, you also need some sort of scrubbing device whether that be a towel or a scrub brush or a one of those things on a stick or um, one of those things on a rope, you know. <clears throat> and um, when you turn the water on, turn it on as hot as possible and then bring it down to where it needs to be because I find that <clears throat> warming up the, the water as hot as it'll go and coming down is easier than going up and getting in and then it being too hot and having to like dance around the the shower because it's way too hot so <clears throat> at least you know it's hot and then you can come down from there then what you do is you get in the shower and you start with your head you start you know massaging your head in and 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 then you put the shampoo on and you do the, this thing and then you know you do your ears and then you wash out the shampoo and then you put the conditioner and you massage that in and then you wash you take some soap on a, on a, on a sponge or a rag or whatever you use and you know wash your face around these bits here and in your ears and and you know behind your ears make sure you get real good behind your ears because you can get a little bit of buildup back there if you don't pay very good attention to your ears <clears throat> and then what you do is you take and do your neck because that seems to be the next logical thing to do, right? You do your neck land and then you do your shoulders and then you wash out your, the conditioner in your hair. Wash out the conditioner in your hair. Oh my god, my hair is getting really long. But it looks nice like this. Anyway. So, then you do your shoulders, then you finish and you do your back, and 
If you have one of those scrub things that does your back, I would use one of those or a thing on a stick. <clears throat> and um, make sure you get them between your shoulder blades and then you do your armpits. And if you have any lumps, you know, you know, get underneath your lumps. And then, you know, you do your belly button. Make sure you use your belly buttons real good and clean. And then if you have any lumps under that, you know what I'm talking about. So get your lumps really good and, because, you know, you can grow some fungus under there and that's not great. It doesn't smell nice. And it, if you, you know who you are, if you're Stinky McGee, wash your under bits. And then when you get down to your naughty area, you gotta get your soap real good in there. And try not, not to like, get it like up inside there, but you know, get it good. You know, wash the outside real thoroughly, because that's very important to keep your na-na bits very good and clean, because that's in an enclosed space. And when you're sitting, <clears throat> or even when you're not sitting, if you're moving about a lot, you know, things can get real stinky real fast. And you can put things like deodorant in there. You can put um, calamine lotion in there, although I wouldn't advise unless you're extremely, like, sweaty. Um, you can put, and if it's starting to stink and you just cleaned or whatever, take some paper towel and some vinegar and wipe that in there. And that's going to make it smell a little bad but then after you wash it wash it out real good then that will kill any of the bacteria that has been living in there <clears throat> and the same thing goes for your baho you know, wash your baho and then you go down your legs and make sure it, the the way that the water goes is it should go down so make sure that you do your arms and your arms and your hands kind of last because they have to touch everything else. So wash your legs and make sure you get behind your knees real good because sometimes people forget to do behind their knees and you know things live in there. And so do your the bottoms of your calves and all the way down your legs and make sure and give yourself a good massage when you're doing this. It gets the blood flowing, makes things flow into the right places that they need to go. If you find that you're having a little bit of edema, you can do the uh, the opposite way. You can rub your leg up, rub your leg up, so that way it moves the water around and gets into the right crevices, so that way it can be filtered out through your urina urinary system. Um, and then do your feet, and make sure you get in between your toes. You know who you're talking, you know who I'm talking to. Nasty people who don't wash between their toes. And make sure you get in your nails. You know who you are. Do your nails down there. And make sure everything is nice and good and smells nice and pretty. <clears throat> and after you feel like a million dollars, you know, then, you know, wash your arms and your hands. And then turn off the, the, um the shower and rub down your head make sure you get behind and inside your ears real good and then <clears throat> most doctors won't tell you this but i've been doing this for some time now use a q-tip if it, because it, sometimes people get ear infections They're like why did i get this ear infection it's because you didn't dry it good enough you gotta dry out your ears that's important whether you get in there with a um, with a um, face cloth or some sort of paper towel after or you know whatever <clears throat> make sure you clean uh, uh, dry out your ears real good and that goes for underneath your armpits and underneath your mm, and your mm, and all of your other bits you got to make sure that they're all dry very good okay don't just get out of the shower and go sit down and expect everything to dry off naturally because it's not going to things are that's where funky things get happening okay so you gotta dry off and then my recommendation is that after you dry off that you put a little powder in your in your and you know your funny bits 
because then it can dry properly and everything will be fine. <clears throat> and then um, you gotta put some moisturizer. You can put some moisturizer on your face. You can use lotion or one of those fancy vitamin E oils. And um, if you have dry skin like I do, I put a little bit of lotion on my skin and then down my legs. And make sure and get the, the very tops of your feet. And, and sometimes you get crunchy things in your feet. And you gotta use a scrubby bit to get them out. Or, you know, your fingernail. Because sometimes you can get the little bits out with your fingernail. Especially if you like to take really long showers. If you've got like those those hard bits on the bottom of your feet, those are called um, calluses. And they're there for a reason. So don't peel them off all together because you're going to have very sore feet after that. So keep your calluses, but if there's like any little bits of like on top that are a little bit crunchy, you can like just scrub those off real good. Make sure you get, um, and then make sure that you do your nails with the file. <clears throat> and then you're pretty much done. Make sure that you brush your teeth and use, um, some sort of mouthwash and um, then um, the last thing that I would do is use some chapstick because chapstick is very important after you use a whole bunch of chemicals in your mouth to wash your uh, wash your mouth out so anyway that was my washing how to shower tutorial I hope that that was helpful to some of you. That is all for today. So thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Okay, love you. Bye.